Thank you very much indeed for coming to Joomla 3 Day. This is the fourth of our presentations today. We have nearly 20 presentations tomorrow. Right now, we have a presentation from Ashwin from Tech Joomla. Ashwin is going to talk about building social networks with Joomla 3. And welcome, Ashwin. I'm going to hand over control for you, to you in a second. I'm handing over control to you now. Yep, thank you. Okay, so uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good evening uh, from where you are. This is Ashwin, and I'm going to be speaking about uh, building social networks with Joomla. Uh, so it's going to be Joomla 3, Joomla in general. Uh, so I'm Ashwin, I'm CTO Tech Joomla. Uh, I like to I like to cook. I like to code. I like to so there's I mean a lot of uh, extra curricular stuff that's going on. Uh, with Tech Joomla, they're mainly into creating social networking extensions. There's also a lot of e-commerce going on, and then uh, very recently we also uh, we also came out come out with a lot of Joomla uh, mobile apps. So that's what Tech Joomla does. Yeah. So moving on to the presentation now. So uh, social network. So I'm sure all of us use Facebook, so we know what a social network is. So the key things to any social network is obviously the network itself, which is your website. That needs to be really cool with uh, good amount of features. And you need to be really careful and choosy in terms of picking the features because nobody wants a site that's overtly complicated to use. And at the same time, you don't want to bore people with features that they don't uh, they don't end up using. So the feature list is really important, especially for the kind of audience you're expecting. Then the next thing that gets people hooked on is really relevant content. So if Facebook stream was empty, you wouldn't really be visiting Facebook. So it's important to have really updated and relevant content for your members. And then obviously there are the members themselves who make up the network. So it's important to get a lot of members, a lot of quality members and have them coming back. So within Joomla, of course, uh, I'm sure all of you have heard about various extensions uh, that you can use to build a social network. What I'm going to do is cover uh, three prominent extensions of those and quickly uh, run through what kind of features they have, what kind of uh, communities they have, what kind of applications they support. So uh, it's Easy Social, which is kind of the new kid on the block. Then we have Zoom Social, which has been around for quite long. And then we have Community Builder, which is which goes back to Mambo days. So these are three extensions that we would be covering. And there's, of course, a lot more. There's a lot of other extensions, like uh, there's, a new, there's a lot of new ones that have come out. John Wall, then there's Mighty Profile, then there's Red Member, a lot of extensions. But then these are the ones that people use quite often. and then. Uh, these are the ones most asked about. So and these are the ones that have a good amount of applications around them. So I'll just be covering uh, these three. So to start with Easy Social. Uh, Easy Social, of course, is backed by Stack Ideas. They're the same team that brought us Easy Blog uh, and Easy Discuss. Uh, Easy Social basically it kind of it kind of goes in a different way in terms of extensibility, it goes beyond plugins. There's something called as apps, which allows you to add a lot of top level features like uh, groups, events, and invite systems. So you can also create an app uh, to create a video gallery, or maybe any, any big feature can go in, and it looks and feels as part of the network, versus a lot of other social networks where uh, a lot of your features do not really integrate well inside the social extension. So that's where I feel uh, Easy Social has a good edge. Then it boasts of a power, powerful stream, of course. So without a stream, really people can't see what anyone uh, else is up to. It has an app for photographs, it has an app for groups, and then it does the conversations really well. So uh, it's a lot like Facebook in this manner where, uh, chat, where chats and conversations are kind of all bundled into one. So uh, that's, that's a really nice part about it. Then it has mentions and hashtag support, which kind of uh, is needed because hashtags are needed for good searching. 
and then mentions are really cool when you want to actually uh, call out people. Then we have privacy options, obviously, where you can set your photographs, your status updates, your uh, all of your content, you can set privacy options for those. Easy Social also has a flexible registration, so you can actually define uh, more than one step and you can decide which fields go into which step when you create the checkout, or sorry, when you create the sign up process. And of course, there's multiple profile types, so if you're building a site that has uh, bands and band owners and musicians, you can of course create different looking profiles and different types of fields for each of those. Then eSocial uh, is definitely very easy to play with in terms of changing the look and feel. So it, it does not follow really uh, Joomla's templating conventions, but then it has its own templating system which supports override. So for the developers, for integrators amongst you, it's very easy to mold it to look like the other parts of your site. So that was about easy social. Next, we'll move on to dumb social. So I'm sure all of us are uh, quite. I mean, we all of us know dumb social because it's been there for long. Dumb social right now is being maintained by iJoomla. They're the same people who brought to us uh, DigiStore extension and ad agency. So jump social basically since it's been there for long, it's quite robust. It has it has strong plugin architecture by which you can add more plugins, add more apps to your profile. Uh, out of the box, Jump Social supports photos, videos, groups, events, and messaging. It supports apps which are widgets that you can show on your profile. So you can have a Twitter widget or you can have a My Blogs widget that you can show on your profiles. Jump Social of course has privacy options too. So the privacy options extend towards fields. So you can define which fields are public, which fields show to friends only. And then you can also assign privacy options to the posts that you make. So you can post a status update that's public or one that's friends only. And similar things for photos and uh, any other post that you make. Then Jump Social also has profile types. So you can again create different types of profiles and assign fields to each of the profile types. The registration, although in Jump Social is uh, pretty limited, you are kind of stuck with a two-step registration, where the first step is the Joomla standard fields, and step two includes Jump Social fields. Uh, the templating system again is very similar to Easy Social, so it's very easy for you to change the look and feel and match Jump Social to your site. That's our Jump Social. Uh, with Jump Social, there's already uh, probably several hundreds of third-party plugins available. So you can actually extend the functionality by adding cool stuff like uh, Twitter widgets. You can add uh, slide share widgets. So a lot of a lot of third-party extensions and a lot of third-party websites have plugins for Jump Social. So you can further expand your network. Next, we move on to Community Builder. So this is kind of the big daddy of all social networks in Joomla because it's been there for probably 10, 15 years now. I mean, it, it's basically been there since Mambo came out. And uh, they were supporting Mambo till very recently. So it's made by the guys at Joomla Polis. Then, as I said, it's one of the oldest ones, so it's quite robust and mature. Uh, it does have a lot less core features, but then a lot of compatible extensions exist for activity stream, for photos and groups. Uh, this is this supports a single step registration, so there's just one form that uh, your members have to fill up to get uh, to get on the site. Uh, field privacy, unfortunately, is not part of the core, but then there's a plugin that can extend field level privacy. Templating is uh, relatively tricky and difficult compared to Jump Social or Easy Social because uh, it, it doesn't have a really defined templating system. Although uh, the people at Joomla Polis have a bootstrap theme which looks really nice and then you can use that as a starting theme for uh, your own customizations. Uh, what I feel is that CB is best suited for smaller internal networks which do not need uh, the full fanfare of a typical social network. So the profiles uh, the profile section is limited and then uh, they really need a very compact profile. Those are the areas which I feel uh, are well suited for this. Uh, then CB 2.0 is expected soon, which is slated to use a more modern approach to plugins and themes. So it 
is stated to be MVC, which should make it very easy for uh, integrators and developers to uh, put themes on. So that's that's where we are on the <coughs> extensions. Uh, again, I mean, a social network. I mean, with extensions, you'll get to a point where uh, you definitely have a running community, but then that won't be enough. Uh, I mean, just just a social network extension won't really have your network. Uh, it, you won't be able to actually get more juice out of it until you do a few more things. <coughs> So a network really is a network of people. So people are important. So you need to take efforts to uh, grow your membership, grow members, get in more members. And then these people in turn would get their friends on board and then that's how the network will grow. So it's important to actually have a organic growth to ensure that quality members come in and you don't have a lot of dropouts. So you need to focus on creating quality content because if you just, if you have content that's uh, copied from different places and it's not, I mean, I mean, you need to have a lot of original content along with uh, syndicated content, so that's going to be important. Uh, invest in tools to increase members. This could mean doing offline promotions and a lot of promotional activities. Then you need to use referral tools to improve the quality of members because existing members are, they tend to, they tend to invite uh, people with the same thinking pattern. So you don't end up with members who are not active or you don't end up with bogus registrations. Then uh, when the community is building, you need to actually get involved hands-on and make sure that interaction and bonding and connections really grow. Maybe you might need to introduce people personally to each other. That's the way uh, people start interacting and growing the community. So uh, what I'm gonna do next is take you through a few of our extensions that, uh, that TechJoomla has that you can use to uh, improve the reach of your community, get more people on, and in general, uh, give a more enriched up, enriched feel to your community. So we're gonna be starting with uh, Invitex. So Invitex is basically a invite system, a viral invite system where we can invite uh, people from your existing networks to join the site. So you can import contacts from Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Gmail, and a lot of other networks into your site. You could also type in emails or uh, uh, import a CSV file with your contacts. Then you can give out a URL, uh, which is a personal URL, and then people logging in or signing up using that URL are uh, tracked to your account. Then we also have invitation statistics uh, and invitation tracking. Then there's reminders for people who forget to join the network. And then there's forest statistics, which allows you to see uh, who have invited you. So let's say you get invited by 10 people. And then the 11th email that comes in also has a list of the previous 10 people who invited you. So you, so initially you might not feel like joining the site, but when you see more and more people uh, from your circle being on the site, maybe the 11th time you would want to join in. So some more cool stuff that Invitex can do. Basically, it integrates with all social networks in Joomla, uh, Community Builder, Jam Social, Easy Social, and uh, many more. There's also possible. It's also possible to have invite-only registration, so you can lock down your uh, website to people who have been invited only. So it's kind of an invite-only feature. Uh, this invite anywhere, which you can use to invite people to not just a site, but to events or to groups. Then there's guest invitations, which guests can join in, or guests can invite people to join the site. Next, we'll be looking at something called as People Suggest. So People Suggest is a bouquet of uh, bouquet of extensions, which allows you to use, use it in a couple of different modes. The first mode being People Suggest. So a lot of you must be already on LinkedIn, and on LinkedIn, you see a section where uh, it recommends you different people based on your interest. So if you're a web designer, then a web designer living in probably uh, uh, California, it will probably suggest to you other Californians who have similar interests. So this is this does exactly the same. Uh, what you need to do over here is select fields from your social network that you want to be uh, matched using. So over here I've seen, I've selected gender, city or town and about me. 
So what's going to happen is once I log in, it's going to search for other people on the site which have the same set of gender, city, town, and about description that I have, and suggest to me people that I should be connecting with. Of course, it won't suggest to me friends or contacts that I already have. It won't suggest only non uh, non contacts. And then it has a cool matchmaking mode which you could use for dating sites, which only suggests people of the opposite gender. Yep. And moving on to the next option over here is uh, called someone you may know. So what, what this does is that it analyzes your friends and friends of friends and tries to figure out people that who you might be knowing. So maybe maybe you have uh, 50 friends and then it tries to figure out what are the most common friends of those 50 and then it's quite likely that you already know them but they're not your friend. So it suggests to you those people that you can uh, connect with and then you can of course add them as a friend. There's of course ability to you know, ignore suggestions and it's also possible to show why it's been suggested as a match. Then there's a cool thing over here that we can also do is that uh, we can capture or store your, in, your Invitex data into the system and then as and when those people start signing up, we show them as people you may know. So your contacts might have signed up after you invited them, but then you don't know about them. So with this module, it's easy, easy to show who are in the system from your contacts, but they are not on your uh, list yet. So that's what people suggest this for you. Moving ahead, we have Jbolo. So this is one of uh, one of the most loved extensions that we have in TechJoomla. Jbolo is basically your chat extensions, chat extension that looks and feels a lot like Facebook or Gmail. So uh, it's a browser-based chat where you can pretty much do everything that Gmail or Facebook chat can do. And then it of course works with Easy Social, John Social, or CB. There's group chat support, uh, there's uh, single chat support, of course. Uh, it supports, as I said, it supports Gmail or Facebook like Teams, there's file transfers, there's history, and then the best part is it's lightweight, so even so shared hosting guys can uh, use it. So that's JVOL for you. Moving ahead to mail alerts. Now, this is one of the extensions that I uh, really like. It's probably one of the most underrated extensions that we have out there but its power is immense. What mail alerts does is it sends out automated digest to your members. So it sends out uh, the latest photographs, latest pictures, latest news that have been happening. I mean, it, it's basically an automated uh, digest system which sends out to you uh, activities that have been, that you've been missing out. And then it's completely plugin driven. So you can write plugins for pretty much any kind of content that you want to be pushed into uh, digest alert. Then it's possible for members to subscribe themselves or unsubscribe themselves from alerts. So you might want to say that I want to receive a daily alert of all the photographs, but I don't want news. So all of that is possible. Then it's possible to set up multiple alerts. So maybe you have one alert for the news, a second alert for uh, community activities, and so on. Then even guests can subscribe to alerts. So in that case, it acts more like a newsletter of when uh, the guest receives an email. Uh, the next time it emails it will only send those details that he has been uh, missing out in the last email. Yeah, so one thing that I really uh, forgot. So this definitely takes into account uh, the date or the time you got an email last. So you won't end up receiving the same content again and again. It's going to send out content only if there is something new to send out. So it won't send an email if you've kind of been on top of everything. So this is really a cool way to drive traffic to your site because uh, in a lot of networks, people sign up, they kind of uh, are active in the initial period, but then after a few weeks or a few months, they kind of uh, die out. So mail alerts or sending automated reminders is really a cool way to get them back on. So with those emails, they'll start coming back to your site and keep on visiting uh, more and more content. So that's mail alerts for you. Yeah, so that kind of that kind of covers a lot of uh, a lot of the social aspects that I wanted to talk about. Then, of course, uh, I mean, you might want to monetize your sites because a lot of a lot of social networks are, are set up for uh, generating revenues. So there are a lot of options in there as well. Uh, you can do paid subscriptions. 
So pay plans and Akiva subs are two of the exceptions that you can use to uh, create paid subscriptions. Then you could do advertising using social ads or banner ads. And there's, of course, there's tons of more ways that you can monetize. I'm just putting here, of course, a uh, couple of them that I feel uh, are more fruitful. Yeah, so that pretty much brings us to the end of it. Uh, I would want to spend some time uh, going through a few case studies. So the first is uh, the first is a social network that we built for one of our clients. They're called Kisan.com. So Kisan in uh, in Hindi means a farmer. So this is a farmer social network that we built, which pretty much uh, pretty much kind of connects the farmers in India. So the intent is to uh, the intent is to provide them latest information in terms of uh, in terms of crop cycles, in terms of weather updates, and also connect them to uh, farmers around their area so that they can share. Updates. So I'm going to go go to my browser right now and open this website. So there you go, Kisan.com. Uh, this network uses Jom Social uh, behind the scenes. So this is a Jom Social driven network. Uh, I'm going to quickly log in over here. I'm sorry, the connection is a little bit flaky, so this could be kind of slow. So one aspect that I kind of uh, that comes to my mind right now is uh, harnessing existing social networks to uh, improve your site's visitors. So basically, it involves setting up uh, setting up integrations with social networks. It also involves setting up uh, Facebook Connect or LinkedIn Connect so that there's a there's a lower entry barrier for you to come into the site. Yeah. So now that we're in, again, as I said, uh, I have a Probably I have a slow connection. That's why this thing is keeping spinning. If you see, this is this is really the activity stream that you can see right now. Uh, people have uploaded pictures that you can see. To the right, you can see latest images over here. So I can go into any of these images. Okay, so I can see this beautiful flower over here. One of our farmers have uploaded. There's of course, there's of course, a description and albums over here. I can add this person as a friend, which is again a default on social feature. I can go back to all images. I could send a message to this person. So this is again on social's uh, regular messaging feature that we have customized to make it look nicer. Uh, and one cool thing on this site is a map of all the members. So what we've done over here is collected the lat latitude longitude for, almost, uh, for all the members and then we plot them on a nice looking map which basically shows a heat map of which region in India are all the farmers coming from. Uh, so again, please uh, give me a while while it loads. I'm sorry, I'm going to try reloading this. Oh yeah, it's coming in. So the things on the right are again advertisements. So we're using banner ads to show ads on this network. The map is slowly coming in. Yeah. So there you go. So the map basically shows the density of farmers uh, that are part of the site. So I can further drill down and see uh, see a more drill down number of people. So what this simply shows that there are almost 23,000 people from this region of India, almost 3,000 from the north of India, and there's also people from outside India. So this is one cool feature that you could add to your uh, social networks. This of course is a custom extension, but then uh, there's a lot of a lot of free ones out there that can do similar stuff. Then connections is typically uh, a list of friends or a list of contacts that you can add to your network. So this is a list of people on the site. You could go again, message those or add them to your friends. Yeah, so pretty, pretty regular stuff for a network. You can always search for people. Yeah, so I search for Ashwin and it shows all the people the matching name. Again, a very common social networking feature. 
Yeah, so uh, that's mainly it on this side. So as I said, it's important to start simple and push in features that the users would most probably end up using. And then once you do that, then it's then you could probably push in more features slowly so that people don't really get overwhelmed on day one with a lot of features. And at the same time, they start getting used to your site, start getting useful features. And then you can put in things uh, one by one. Now going back to the presentation, uh, the next demo that I want to show is uh, something called as iSport Connect. So this is a closed door or a strict door network for sports professionals that we've uh, created. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to really log in and show show this to you, but then uh, I'll quickly show the public aspects of this site right now. I have this home page over here. So there's of course the community. Again, we're using John Social over here. Uh, a lot of these sites have started uh, several several years back. So uh, one of them really uses Easy Social yet, but then a few of them we are transitioning over to Easy Social because it suits the uh, better than John Social. So what we have over here is a community. So you have people again profiles. You can look at profiles and see what people have. Uh, people are up to. Yeah, that's strong social for you. And there's news. So this is regular Joomla. It's regular Joomla articles, nothing fancy. So of course, as I said, uh, you can't really miss out the content aspect when you create a social network. So it's important to uh, generate quality and regular content. So that's where uh, the CMS aspect of Joomla can definitely help you out. Then on this side we have jobs. So it's basically listing out all the jobs uh, in the sports sector. Using alpha content for jobs. And then there's events, sporting events, which is using Job Social's events feature to uh, show and gather all the events. So you can see all those events here. You can go in, look at the details of an event. And then if it's a, if it's an event that you want to attend, you would really say uh, yes and send response. And you can also see who's attending down here. You can see the venue location uh, on a map. So that's again, that's again default events that John Social offers out of the box, nothing uh, nothing customized. The marketplace again is uh, something very elementary right now. It's it's going to be a full a full out uh, exchange place, but then right now uh, we can we can skip it completely. That's that's again that's one more John Social uh, demo for you. So going back, I have a third demo lined up for you is something called as sourcing exchange. So this is again a closed door network for sourcing professionals. Uh, I'm going to log in over here. And then the beauty of this network is that it really does not use any social network extension. So there's no John Social, there's no CB, there's no Easy Social. But what we're doing over here mm -hmm. is creating a place for people to come in, interact, and uh, discuss about the sourcing industry. So there's easy discuss that we're using for discussions. Then there's uh, easy blog that we're putting, that we've put in for uh, blogs and uh, answers. And then we have Docman. You can actually uh, exchange documents. That's where that's where we are uh, on this network. So yeah, I mean, as I said, you don't really need a social network extension to build a network. I mean, depending upon the kind of audience you're expecting to get, you could really mix and match existing stuff uh, that Joomla already has. Uh, I think, yeah, so that kind of brings us to the end of the presentation as such. I think, uh, as Steve suggested, based on the previous uh, previous sessions, it's best if you can get into a question answer mode now. I'm sure all of you have a lot of questions in social network is such a, I mean, it's one of the biggest things in the internet now. So I think we can open up for questions.
So Steve, uh, over to you. Cool. Thanks, uh, Ashwin. Yes, we do have some questions in the chat. Uh, I'll read through them in order and send them over to you. Um, Perfect. For example, do any of these extensions or um, any of the extensions that you recommend for a very small club, maybe a list serve, something that doesn't need a large social network, something that needs a very simple social network. Do you have any recommendations? I think for small networks, as I said, CB works perfectly. I mean, it has a very simple profile to it. Uh, you don't need to really turn off a lot of things because there aren't so many things to turn off. So I'd really suggest to go with CB for that. I don't think uh, there's anything else that I could suggest. <clears throat> Especially since CB has, I mean, as I said, it's quite mature. It's been there for so long. So there's also a healthy community of uh, developers around it. And there's probably 20 to 30 uh, third party app, third party applications that have been developed for CB. So with all of that, I'm sure uh, CB would be the right choice. I, I would not mind suggesting job social, uh, but with but for a small community, what you would want to do is uh, disable pretty much what Jam Social offers. So if you don't want photographs, disable photos. If you don't want videos, disable that. So that kind of ends up being a, a time-taking exercise. So you would really want to assess what kind of features you want to put in and then make a decision. People seem to be impressed by JBolo. Can it stand alone? For example, can it be used as a chat for customer service? Yeah, so right now basically there's no there's no public chat, uh, so to say. So logged in people, you can of course use it for chat. We're working on a new version of JBolo which would really have an admin panel and it will make it really work like a, a typical sales chat on the site. But right now, I mean, you could have admin logged in at all times on your site and then have him uh, add people to his friends list and start chatting with them. Uh, people seem to be impressed by the map that you created yeah, and then, of India. What did you use to do that hotspot map? Well, uh, the map really is a custom uh, build right now, but then there's a lot of other things that you would use. I know there's Foka maps uh, that you can use, and there's, there's also extension from Compozoom. I don't, I think it's called Markers. Hot it's hotspots, it's hotspots. Uh, but this one is really a custom build that we have because we needed those heat maps and those drill down density maps. So this is really a custom build. Do you have any case studies of businesses that created a social network around them? Or can you recommend any case studies? Uh, Steve, I'm sorry, I lost your last couple of lines. Do you have any case studies of businesses that created social networks, or can you recommend any case studies? Uh, any sort of any essays or any outlines of how the business built a social network? Yeah. So uh, I mean, all of these three. I mean, maybe of these three case studies. Kisan, as I said, it's already a business uh, that has built this network. Same goes for iSport mm -hmm. Connect. And then we also have a couple of uh, intranets or maybe a few uh, company-wide networks. So we work with Forbes, Forbes Marshall. We built a, a network for them, which is primarily for their internal consumption, for their sales team, and for their HR team. So that's definitely a case that we have. And what, I, what, I, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to append this presentation with uh, a few more case studies so that when you give out a slide share link, I'm sure people can uh, link through to those and look at those case studies and get more information. Hope that works. Cool. Here's an interesting question. With a social network, you may end up with a lot of photos and a lot of videos uploaded. Do you need to worry about the server requirements for a social network more than perhaps for an ordinary site? Well, I would say there are two angles to it. Uh, one is really the storage space, and the second is your resources. So for storage space, Jom Social and Easy Social already hook up with Amazon S3 or Amazon CDN. So you could always store your media on Amazon. The second aspect is really the resource aspect. So depending upon the server configuration, 
you might want to go in for a, a bigger server or maybe a pool of servers. So we've we've kind of worked with companies who have had five million hits to a day on their social network, which uh, which was hosted on an Amazon server farm. So you're running something like ten uh, instances for them. So as I said, I mean, depending upon which aspect you want to really uh, scale on, you would want to apply a correct solution. Cool. Thank you, Ashwin. Okay. Well, thank you guys very much indeed for attending. There's one. There's one more cool thing. I mean, I just can't it just it just stand across my mind right now. So we built a network for, uh, in India for uh, moms to be and uh, moms, which is really a parenting network, which. I mean, I haven't really seen uh, such networks built on Joomla, so that was a first for us. And again, I mean, that's that's a that's, there's, a, there's an existing company in India that sells uh, kids wear and kids products who really finance this network. So there's another story for you where a corporation uh, build their own network. Cool. Um, so thank you very much indeed, Ashwin. Um, I hope to see you again at one of our other Joomla three-day presentations.